I'm Austin, and today we're going to read Mandy's Adventures in Petlandia. Let's get started. Mandy lived in Roswell and dreamt of being a star, with her very own TV show and a chauffeur-driven car. But being cute and furry made stardom rather tough, especially as the only words she knew were woof and rough. Feeling brave, she folded up her PJs in a flannel, along with some ideas for her Mandy YouTube channel. Fumbling in the darkness, she scrawled a doggy note, then kissed Cheryl and Jay and went to get her coat. Scampering through the moonlit streets with thoughts of being wealthy, Mandy stopped beside a sign and thought, I'll take a selfie. Pulling out her eye bone, she posed and took a snap, then headed to the airport while squinting at her map. Mandy was excited because she'd never flown before, unless you count that time she slammed a laptop on her paw. And as the plane took off, she thought of A-list towns and mutts, while trying to squish her nose into a teeny bag of nuts. When Mandy got to Hollywolf, she set up several meets, but most of them went wrong because she tinkled on the seats. And even though she tried her best, the top dogs weren't impressed. We've seen your act before, kid, and look at how you're dressed. With failure after failure, Mandy's confidence was shrinking, but then she saw a saxophone, which kind of got her thinking. I need to learn some new tricks and really make me shine, and then I'll make some videos and post them all online. Meanwhile, back in Roswell, Cheryl found a note. My dog thinks she'll be famous. Oh, what a silly goat. But suddenly, Jay looked up and saw Mandy on the news. She'd become an online superstar with 50 million views. It seems dogs can learn new tricks, Cheryl thought out loud, and Jay started laughing. They both felt very proud. There was Mandy on a chat show, tootling away, while teetering on a unicycle doing dog ballet. Soon the world was going wild for Mandy's jolly tunes, and you could even buy a storybook and see her in cartoons. She bought a doggy mansion and a limo and a yacht. She even met the president and partied quite a lot. Other doggies lined up to shake Mandy by the paw, and scripts for pet-based movies came tumbling through the door. She'd sit and count her money while lounging on her throne, but when she wasn't working, she'd often feel alone. Because she felt so lonely, Mandy bought more stuff, but even though she had it all, it was never quite enough. She tried some doggy yoga, which she thought might make her happy, but that just tied her up in knots and made her sore and snappy. Then suddenly it hit her as she chewed her oldest bone. What Mandy wanted most was to be snuggled back at home. Yes, she'd missed her fancy life, the palm trees and her chauffeur, but none of that compared to cuddling Cheryl on the sofa. She called off all her concerts and she gave away her things, but all flights home were fully booked so she clung onto the wings. Hanging on for her dear life as the plane took to the skies while Mandy think of tummy rubs and tears welled in her eyes. Soaring over Roswell, Mandy thought, I've had a hoot, but home is where the heart is, so I need a parachute. Bubbling in her suitcase, she found a sparkling gown. Then she used it as she leapt off to sort of slow her down. Tumbling through the fluffy clouds was really quite a rush, but Mandy had to slow down or she'd soon be doggy mush. Just then she saw a mattress dumped onto a roof, so she steered herself towards it and landed with a woof. Jumping into Jay's arms, Mandy cried with joy. Then Cheryl squeezed the squeaker in a squishy, squashy toy. Fame is pretty epic, but snuggling is the best, thought Mandy as she curled up to enjoy a well-earned rest. Miles away in Hollywood, things were much the same, and countless pets arrived each day to search for wealth and fame. They often spoke about that dog who played the saxophone, and how she left it all behind because she missed her home. But Mandy wasn't bothered that she'd given the fame to show, because her trip had taught her that what really counts is love. The end. Hope you enjoyed.